Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about the Magura MT Sport brakes. They are the bottom end of Magura's range. They have lots of upgradability. They're only 40 euros. I think they're the best budget brake option. And I'll go through all of my reasons, the upgrade paths, etc. Now, okay, so what's in the box of the greatest budget MTB brakes? Well, inside this box here, what we have is a sealed system. Obviously, you've got two piston caliper and your two finger brake lever there. Now, Shimano, um, Shimano, Shimano use mineral oil, right? And Magura use something called Royal Blue, which is mineral oil dyed blue. As they are mineral oil brakes, straight away, this means there is actually cross compatibility, kind of, between Shimano and Magura. That's sort of point one. Point two is the caliper that you're getting here is very similar to um, Magura's um, higher end models, bearing in mind at a certain point they go from two to four piston and obviously nowhere near as powerful as four piston, but when it comes to two piston, um, pretty similar to that other two piston calipers, like difference is probably pretty negligible, right? Also comes with the same pads as the more expensive models. The major difference in caliper is it is fixed in place. Oh, there we go. So on the more expensive versions, this here will move up and down, which will allow you to get a better line, brake line on your bike. So depending on your bike frame, you may end up with a bit of an awkward brake line when using these brakes. Worth noting that Magura is a major automobile plastics manufacturer. Okay, let's move this box out of the way. Also in the box you get um, the ability to shorten the hose and all the barbs etc that you need to do that. Some stickers, cool right? And a pretty hefty mo owner's manual. Okay, so why is it relevant that they're a plastics part manufacturer? Because some of this will be plastic. Um, and obviously, just to point out that their plastics are going to be of really good quality. In fact, this whole closed loop system is of really good quality, um, which is why I think it's the best budget brake coming in at 40 euros. Now, as I mentioned before, it is mineral oil. Um, this is the lowest of the Magura range. It goes all the way up to, I don't know, MT7 or 8. So to call this MT1 or 0, it doesn't quite work like that. but. Um, good enough for your understanding, okay? So, over at some point later on, there's two things you can do to upgrade this lever. This is a two finger brake lever. Magura actually do a one finger brake lever and you can swap it out, taking this pin out here, um, you can swap out that lever for a one finger brake lever. So there's that. Um, secondly, obviously, you could obviously replace the whole unit with a um, different lever from one of the Magura's range, like an MT5 or an MT4, for example. Um, so if you kind of doing light XC, nothing too gravity orientated, one of these front and back drops a good one. If you are slightly more gravity orientated, then you probably want to look at, you know, um, one piston on the rear, I'm uh, sorry, two pistons on the rear, four pistons on the front, right? So one of their more powerful brakes up front 
If you're more gravity orientated, also if you're a heavier rider, I guess. And if you're a much lighter rider, um, then these brakes will do front and back, I'm sure. Um, they're pretty good power-wise. Um, also, it's 2.2 gauge um, tubing, which is pretty thick for a budget brake. A lot of budget MTB brakes, tubing is a lot thinner than this. So clumps as a closed loop system, and you can um, cut the tube down if you want to. Everything included in the packet. And also, as I've mentioned, parts are interchangeable with other mineral oil-based brakes. Yeah, there is nothing stopping you putting a Dior XT um, lever on this later if you like the um, adjustability of a more expensive lever. So you can combine a more expensive lever with this cheap but not weak at all. Um, I mean, it's really nicely built. It's pretty hefty as, um, I mean, just look at the size of it. Um, designed and engineered in Germany, world renowned for their you know, engineering capabilities. Obviously, it can be bled. Um, using a bleed kit, there is a Magura bleed kit, or you could use a universal bleed kit. Not a problem. Um, so I think if you are in the market for some budget brakes, I think these are some of the best options, arguably from one of the top three brake manufacturers. You've got Shimano, you've got SRAM, and you've got Magura in my book. Unless you're going to go, you know, um, beauty can spend two thousand. Um, euros on a pair of brakes but that's not the video we're making here is it so everything's included you need including brake pads um, and a um, stop for if you do need to transport the bike so you can put that in there so nothing gets damaged or if you accidentally squeeze the lever for whatever reason um, personally believe this is the best budget brake you can buy the quality is insane for the money I mean, this is so much better than what I've gone there currently. I have some of the lower range Shimano's, and if I was to do this with the Shimano's, the brake lever probably has about five millimeters of play up and down at this end, yeah? So I could shake the brake lever up and down at this end five millimeters. This brake lever is not moving. You know, if you were to say, okay, um, what's the best between this Magura MT Sport and the Shimano Alivio disc brakes, I would say, get this. Not only is it two finger braking, so it's more mountain biking orientated rather than something like touring, right? Um, it's more powerful, without a doubt, than the equivalent Shimano, which might be um, 10 euros cheaper. Uh, but when you talk about something like a brake part, um, I don't think that's that uh, big a deal, personally. And, you know, um, for euros, you can be paying that for some of the cheaper brakes on AliExpress these days. So, um, I think... The best ones, the Magura. Um, also, you know, um, they talk about SRAM brakes. Because SRAM brakes have a lot of modulation, which means they don't bite instantly. They've got a lot of um, sort of a slower grip, if you will, um, which is referred to as modulation. And they say Shimano, Shimano just grips on and stops you, um, and you go flying. Magura is somewhere in between those. So there's a little bit of modulation and then a lot of grip in Magura brakes. And, you know, if you don't get on with that, um, again, you can swap this out for a Shimano um, lever relatively inexpensively and you've got yourself um, a nice pairing. Shimano. Um, and finally, you can actually customise this so you can buy a little coloured ring to go in here um, and customise it to the colour of your bike. So in terms of negatives, obviously we have to compare like for like. There's no point talking about the features that are missing in much more expensive brakes, right? So, um, the biggest negative for me is the fact that it requires a Torx um, screwdriver to adjust the controller on the bar, the brake lever. Um, obviously, it would be handy if that was an Allen key. If you do not have a Torx 25 on your multi-tool, you will need a separate tool. Um, on your right, so that is kind of annoying in my book. But other than that, I think it's um, unbeatable for the money. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you next time.